So, hello and welcome back. Now, I've got problems with the XJR. So, these are the fault codes I've been getting. So, I've had a look underneath and I can't see any of the vacuum pipes that are split or anything like that. I'm going to have to have a better look though, to be honest. Um, but at the minute, I can't see anything like that. Now, this is your sensor. Now, obviously, I don't want to spend like... Um, this is a proper, proper branded one. But I don't want to spend a small fortune on that in case it's not that. So, don't uh, shoot me down in flames. But I've bought a cheap one. <laughs> Um, now I've bought a cheap one on purpose just to test to see if it is that it is the problem um, so like I say this has got a year's warranty on it so it should just work but I just want to test it um, I mean if this is the problem we'll get a proper a proper one but uh, yeah hopefully this will work enough to test it so uh, let's see so it doesn't really look dirty now I do believe this is the original one um, like I say, it doesn't really look dirty, but you can see it's got some moisture in there. Look at that. Um, now, this has been playing up for, I would say, five months. Um, this is not new. This has been playing up for a little while, this issue I've had. It's not all the time. It's just, I don't know, it was a bit intermittent, really. So, maybe it's the sensor, maybe not. But I think if we try the new sensor in, and then we'll... Uh, find out but like i say it doesn't look obviously broken but i think these are very delicate so but, uh yeah so we're going to put the new sensor in and uh like i say we'll give it a go i'm gonna put the sensor in now and then we'll try it out tomorrow but like i say it doesn't look too bad like i say it's exactly the same it's just uh not a dear brand it's only like this was like 30 pounds i think if you buy that one it's about 200 <laughs> but um yeah it'd be good enough just to check see if this is the issue so that's the new sensor, nice and easy to do as well. Uh, so I cleared all the faults. Um, now this, like I say, has been going on for, I would say at least five months, personally. That's how long I think this was going on for. Um, but it was a bit weird because I'd get like it's running lean message on bank one. Then another time it'd be on bank two. Then I wouldn't get that, I'll just get that, um, you know the airflow sensor um uh, and like i say it was random it was a different one each time but that was the one time that all of them came on the running lean the airflow sensor everything so like i say that airflow sensor was only 30 quid right now it's got one year's warranty on it and i don't know how good it is normally i'd put a proper one on but like i say for 200 pounds it's a bit of a risk if it wasn't that um now i've actually been for a drive we haven't been far um We've only done about 10 mile, but there's no warning lights come on and it doesn't miss. Now, what started off originally was every now and again, you'd press the accelerator and it would sort of cough a couple of times and then go, you know, and you thought, well, that's a bit weird. And then it started doing, so if you sat here and revved it up, it sort of rev and, and then stop, you know, and then go back normal again, sorry. Um, so yeah, so it, it sort of gained a cough, you know. Uh, and it, th that cough kept getting worse. So if you were going down the road and you were going to go and pass someone saying, let's be honest, XJR, yeah, you do put your foot flat on the floor to get that bit of power, don't you? Um, you got to try the supercharger out, haven't you? So uh, anyway, um, you'd, you'd, you'd give it a bit and it would, uh, it would just, it, you'd press it, so, you know, you rev up and it'd sort of start coughing and then it'd go again. And it was like, well, that's a bit weird. Well, I've just passed someone in it, well, three people in it, um, giving it full you know giving it the beans as we say and uh yeah it didn't cough once so that's good so i'm hoping this is the fault and we've found it and it's fixed now in the summer obviously this car is going to be used for um uh north coast um up north with marco and that so well actually it's more like september so we do have to do a few jobs on this anyway so i'm gonna have a look you know what i mean we'll have a look at the pipes and just check everything as well check we haven't missed anything but yeah, so at the moment, very happy. It is only a 30 quid part, so we don't know how long this is going to last. I mean, I, 
I mean, I have had cheap parts actually last better than the proper parts, which is a bit weird. And then another time, the cheap parts are cheap parts. You know, you, you're lucky if you get six months out of them before they knack you up. So it's a bit of an unknown, but we do know that now, at the moment, it's not coughing, so it's looking like it was the airflow sensor thing, yeah? So, um, yeah, always good if you buy a Jaguar or, or a car like this, buy one of those code reader things yourself because it saves you a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of hassle. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's solved the problem. In the next few weeks of using it, it won't uh, come up saying it's running lean or any sensor issue. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that job. Nice, easy, it took literally... I think it took me longer to find the screwdriver than it did actually to do the job. So, uh, <laughs> that's what we like. That's not a bad job, though, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, until next time, see you later.